All right, let's get started. So there are a lot of things happening in our template. And for now, we're just gonna focus on a few things because there's a lot of stuff going on and it's gonna keep everyone on task if we just focus on one thing at a time. All right, so follow along with me. Don't try to change things that we're not talking about or haven't talked about. And then you can go and experiment on your own and refer to this back video later. All right, first thing I wanna talk about is the index.html page. So, like I said before, this stuff over here affects this stuff over here. So when we're gonna change and edit our website, we're gonna be working mostly within the HTML page. Something to know is that the default name for a website or a web page is index.html. That's because when we go to a website like mycoolwebsite.com, we're actually referring to a whole bunch of pages and the web browser won't know where to go first unless you have a page called index.html as that is the default page to look for. So what I want you guys to get in the habit of is when you create a new website or a new page, I want you to put your default page index.html. That's not to say that you can name your page something else and the website would know to go to that web page first, but the default is index.html and you have to specify a different web page for your main page to your website and web browser if you decided you did not want your index.html page to be the first page. That might be a long-winded answer, but what I need you guys to know and understand is that it's a good habit and practice to name your first web page of your website index.html. And that's what we're gonna be doing here as well. Something else to know is that the code that we're working with in here is HTML. And when we're working with an HTML document, we need to define that we are actually working in HTML. To do this, we create an opening tag that looks like this, and a closing tag that looks like this. And what you'll notice is that here, you can clearly see the words HTML. So this line over here, this is called our opening tag. This means that this is the beginning of our HTML code. To show where the end of our HTML code is, we have to create a closing tag, which is this. The difference between the opening tag up here on line two and the closing tag on line 13 is this slash right here, right before the HTML. When we put the opening tag for the HTML up here and the closing tag for the HTML down here, what we are doing is telling the computer that everything in between these brackets from line 13 to 12 is HTML. And this is important because when we're working on a website, since we'll be working with many different types of code, we need to be specific on what code we're working at at a given time. So that is why it's important to have your opening tag and your closing tag for your HTML. The second thing that I want to point out is our title tag right here on line six. What I'm gonna ask you to do is to try changing the code or the text in between the opening tag for the title and the closing tag for the title. And I'm gonna do this as well. So what you might notice is as opposed to changing other parts of our code, we can't see the, my changes to the text within the title tags on this right side. That's because the text inside here or change in the text inside here doesn't create any visible changes on the index.html page. However, your title is important when you build a website. This title defines the title in your web browser's toolbar and the title for the page if you were to search for this website in a search engine like Google. For example, if I really wanted to find my cool website, one of the first things that a search engine would look for in the web browser is the title of my website. So when you're working on your website, what I want you to do is delete the text within your title brackets on your template in between the opening and closing tags and type in a new name for your website. Don't feel pressure about naming your website just yet though, because you could always change it later. So something that I want you guys to remember is that this 
title tag here, the opening tag and the closing tag, and all of the stuff in between the opening and closing tags is called an element. So this is an element for the title. This down here, this whole area is also an element and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm going to be talking a lot about elements. So when I refer to an element, for example, I say the title element, know that I'm talking about the entire line of code or all of the content in between the opening and closing tag and the tag themselves of the element that I'm referring to. Okay, so this is the title tag. So like we noticed, the text in the title element doesn't change anything on our physical preview page over here. So let's change some text so we know what website we are working on. Maybe I don't want to call my website my cool website. Maybe I want to call my website my super cool website. To match what is in this element right here, which we'll call the header one. Now the web browser knows the title of my website and whoever is looking at my website knows the title of my website more easily. Something that's important to know is that HTML and CSS are very specific computer languages and that most of the time the computer won't understand what we mean when we make a mistake. For example, if I used poor grammar or a wrong word in a sentence, most of the time people can still understand what I mean even if the grammar or syntax is incorrect. Computers, though, are not as smart as humans. So if I make a mistake in my code and do something like forget to put a closing tag or write my title in the wrong place, most of the time the computer won't understand what I'm trying to do. 